Hi, my name is Adora Spitak and I'm at the Colorado Convention Center in Denver, Colorado here for the ISTE or International Society for Technology and Education Conference. Here with Jackie Ray, the student sh uh, showcase of student work. So first just tell me a little bit about uh, what you have here and what you do. Okay, so this turned out to be a science fair project and then it was a tech fair project. I thought that since a lot of people walk every single day, um, what if we could uh, create that energy into a shoe or and even a cell phone? And so I started out with a pump hand powered flashlight so that when you pump it, it would create energy. I thought that if you did it all again and compact it, you could put it in a shoe and charge your cell phone. That never worked. I couldn't get it to stick. So I came across these things called piezoelectrics that when you bend them, you, that it creates energy. So I thought it would fit in a shoe so that the bendable part of the shoe, it would bend. And what would happen is, is I could eventually strip across a uh, cell phone charger and connect it to the battery of the phone, take it out and slip it in the shoe um, so that when you do do it, it would create energy. Um, anything else? Well, yeah, that's wonderful. So, uh, when did you first come up with this idea? Um, my mom's battery actually died in the middle of a football game and she needed to call someone and she, I thought, well, what if you could just jog in place and then your cell phone? And she's like, that would be great. And so that's how the idea started to occur and it wound up being a science fair project. So you just got the idea of a football game, really spur of the moment, spur on, and you know, I really relate to that because, you know, my parents, they complain, they have their cell phone now, and it's 20% low battery already, and so yeah, I think that's something a lot of people can relate to. Uh, do you have any plans to turn this into a business, or to sell this for profit, or anything, or are you just currently developing it right now? I've tried, I've thought about it, and I've come up with some other ideas too about this. Um, I would actually like to finish this project since I had a deadline on it. Um, I do want want to actually connect to the cell phone though and I think I could actually make something out of it. Great, well it's a wonderful invention. Uh, tell me, so I know that your original idea with the flashlight didn't quite work, were there any other challenges that you ran into along the way? Um, there was a lot of math involved. I had to stay a lot, a lot after school with my math and science teacher to learn about Ohm's Law and all these different equations that I had to do. Wow, and I can see on here uh, quite a lot of stuff. So is math your favorite subject or was science your favorite subject before you started with this? Science is probably my favorite subject out of all of them, yeah. Okay, so you do have a little bit of a background. I know that I wouldn't just be able to come up with an idea like this at the spur of the moment. Uh, and then finally, I was just wondering, um, so I know that you talked about developing it further. Have you set any goals for yourself? I know that you want to power cell phones, anything else that you're maybe thinking of powering with this? Um, I'd like to come up with a couple of other ideas that I could hook up to it. I surely, I, my biggest goal is to surely connect it to the cell phone to actually finish off the idea and then maybe move on to bigger things since the world is trying to be green. I could charge other just plain old batteries so they don't have to throw them away. Yeah, well it's a wonderful idea. Thank you so much for talking with Thank me. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, again from the Colorado Convention Center, I'm Adora Svitak. Thanks for watching.